Our business is in Islamic fashion, Islamic consultancy, business development and event management. Our services are driven by innovation, quality, expertise and total customer satisfaction. Our vision is to be the number one Islamic business entity in Nigeria with international reputation. We serve as sole representative and distributor of top Islamic international fashion brands in Nigeria, United States and the United Kingdom. Our online store is the first Islamic online retail store in West Africa, offering consumers the convenience of ordering top and quality Islamic international clothing brands from the comfort of their homes. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. My name is Latifat Abdul Majid Isa, and I'm very pleased to welcome you to the Muslim Identity segment on the IBT TV show. Inshallah, today our mother, Hajia Mariam Ta'an, will conclude on preparing our kids during this Ramadan. Please stay tuned. Parents should start to carry children to the mosque, to pray together in the mosque. They help them to feed the poor people and the needy. They also uh, encourage the children to participate in Islamic programs, in lectures, in seminars, watch Islamic programs on TV, reading Islamic books together. All that thing is part of the training that we prepare the child towards the ibadah during the month of Ramadan. So it doesn't just end by abstaining from eating and drinking, which is the least meaning of fasting the month of Ramadan. So also during this month that we are in now, during this month, parents has to observe that if your child is still below the age of puberty and you are training that child, reward your child for every day he or she is fasting. If he fasts the first one day, celebrate that for your child. Give him a prize. Make a prayer and a dua for your child. Recognize the fasting of your small child in front of the other members in the family. Say, my son, my daughter today completed the fasting. I'm very happy. May Allah reward you and bless you. And so that goes a long way in the mind of the child and he will love the fasting and will do it gradually he will start to do it willingly rather than just feeling that i'm doing it for the uh, by force for the sake of my father or my mother we also there is also another lesson that we should really uh, uh, observe very well with our children especially during the month of ramadan there should be a, an open channel of communication between the child and the parents. If the child is fasting and has headache, for example, as a result of the fasting, the mother should not shout on him and say, why should you have a headache? You don't know it's haram to break your fast, Allah will punish you. All these methods does not help the child to love the practice of fasting or any other pra practice in Islam. And at the same time, next time he will not open up and speak to the mother or the father because they, they condemn him, they criticize him, they did not allow themselves to appreciate that feeling. But if your child has a headache or stomach pain or the hunger pain, try to encourage your child. See, Oh, my dear, I know you are feeling hungry now. You are feeling thirsty. I know you are doing all that for the sake of Allah. You will be rewarded. Do you think that you can still hold it for another one hour or 30 minutes? You know, the Maghrib will call Adan and so, so, so. That you encourage the child and let make him feel that what he is doing is appreciated and give him the courage to continue and do more than that. And that is how we train the children gradually on the ibadah during and before the month of Ramadan. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, we thank our mother, Hajia Mariam Ta'an, for a beautiful rendition on preparing our children during this Ramadan. I hope we found it very educating and I hope we follow up with the tips she gave to us.